Hello and welcome to the assembly tips for the Space Rail Steel Ball Roller Coaster where we will build something like this from parts like these. This is for the level 5 uh, roller coaster model but uh, many of the tips will be useful also for the other models. Assembling the base plate is easy, just click the pieces together like that. For this particular model, three in that direction, and then they connect to each other lengthwise, like this. And then special connectors are applied in the intersections, like this, and in the edges, like this, until you have the completed base plate, which is. three by four, like this. The next thing to do is to assemble the arms that hold the rail to the vertical metal bars. For that we need these parts. There is a rail clip looking like this with a ring underneath. Uh, there's another kind looking like this, which won't be needed at this point. We have connectors, um, which look very similar, but there are actually two kinds. One which is more rounded if you look at it from this angle here and the other one which is less rounded if you look at it from the same point and uh, we're going to need one of each for this the rounded one is the one that goes around the metal uh, rod uh, and we will need a knob in here like this which, which tightens leftwards actually, counterclockwise is tightening it, feels a little bit odd at first, but it's consistent like that. Then there is the connector, um, which has one rounder and one uh, slightly square uh, part. I'll put the round one here, and then we will put the other connector, the one that doesn't have as rounded an interior, let's see if we find one. Here's one. Um, we put them together like this and use another knob. To lock it into place. Tightening again counterclockwise. And we put these together to form a complete arm where the rail will go in here and this part will go on the metal rod and be locked into place with this knob. The next thing to do is to attach the arms with the rail holding clips to the vertical uh, metal bars like so and it might feel a little bit odd at first but the knobs tighten to the left but it's consistent that way and the positions between these arms which might look something like this when, in, when they're complete uh, these positions are given in a fold-out in the manual, which is not only to scale, it's it's one-to-one -one scale, it's live size. So you don't have to measure. What you can do is you just lay out this fold-out and you put your rod on top of it. There are a few different lengths, so make sure you use the right one. And then you gradually just adjust things you put on so that they're at the right place. And that will give you a rough position for all of them and they can be adjusted later. The rail itself comes as a long roll of plastic tubing. Uh, there is a little hole in the middle there so if there's an emergency you can splice two pieces together with a little metal pin inside but that should be avoided if possible so um, I recommend cutting a little bit extra each time, five or ten centimeters extra and there is enough extra in the roll for that. And the manual will actually tell you how long each section should be um, though in my kit it said millimeters where it should say centimeters so 61 millimeters there is actually 61 centimeters uh, I don't know if they changed that in your kit but please check out so it doesn't say millimeters here in that case it's centimeters snap each section of rail into place one side at a time like this all the way and then later 
you do the same thing for the other side of the rail it just clicks into place like that and after that add the extra clips that are free hanging in the air so that the the distance is fairly equal between all the plastic clips that completes the assembly part please see the next part about tweaking thank you for watching